heredity and evolution, accumulation of variation during reproduction. Hello friends, welcome to today's class of hereditary and evolution. In our earlier classes, we learned about types of reproduction where the individual looks similar with little variation in asexual reproduction and many variations in sexual reproduction. In the present class, let us learn how variations are created and inherited and what are the long-term consequences of accumulation of variations. Before we study about variations, let us discuss about inheritance. What is meant by inheritance? Generally, when we meet our friends or cousins, we compare their features with their parents as his eyes looks like his father eyes or she looks like her mother. Why do we look like our parents or why we brothers and sisters look similar to each other? Because each of us received traits or distinctive features from our parents in the form of genes. So the transferring of genes from one generation to another or transferring from parents to daughter and son is the basis of inheritance. The inheritance of genes from one generation to another generation is called hereditary. When we inherit genes from our parents, then why don't we exactly look like our parents? Because, as we discussed earlier, in multicellular organisms, the daughter individual receives only half the number of chromosomes from each parent, which means daughter receives half from mother and the other half from the father, hence it receives only some traits but not all of them. The inheritance from parent generation A not only provides common basic body design but also subtle changes to daughter generation B. The common body design and subtle changes are continued in second generation B which in turn reproduces generation C. Here differences can be noticed from first generation A to second generation B and then we can notice differences from second generation B to third generation. But in case of asexual reproduction, single parent bacteria divides into two bacteria and the two bacteria results into four individual bacteria which look similar with minor unnoticeable differences. 